Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition. We're on our way back to, uh... Palestralia's name of the guild. This city's called Nordopolica. I was gonna call it the city of Palestrale. That's the guild that controls Nordopolica, which is the name of the thing, and they are uh, pretty blockaded up, it looks like. So, let's see what's happening. What on earth are Flynn and other people doing? Well, it doesn't seem that bad, actually. Doesn't seem like anything's going wrong. Hmm, not as many knights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet. Especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. How are we, like, look at, look at Judith. How are we not going to stand out? Look at Repeat. With Repeat and Judith alone, we stand out like a sore thumb. Not to mention the, like, the colorful outfits some of the others of us wear, like Raven and Estelle. They definitely stick out in a crowd. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about meeting her. I'm finally going to be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. Come on out. It'll be okay. Is it alright for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. It'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. I really don't get that logic. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. In other words, um... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. That's the spirit! Hmm. I wonder if Flynn's already here somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you. Yeah, sure, what could possibly go wrong from that? Definitely nothing. Nothing at all. Check out this sick katana sword I got, man. I love it. Very good sword. Why do all Critians have this little hair thing going on? Is that actual hair, or is it some kind of an accessory added on? Like, every Critian has it, including Judith. What's up with that? I wonder if they ever tell us about it. Anyways, I guess we need to go to the inn. Which I believe is here in the Coliseum. Last I checked. Hello there. See, it's not even a female thing. Even the male Critians have this weird hair ornament. Or maybe it's just hair. I really can't tell, to be honest. Hello. One with the Nordopolica in, yada yada. 500 gold bleeding a man dry. Do you actually get story locked out if you don't have 500 gold? I can't imagine that happening, but what if it did? Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure. You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. 
about who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? That doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well at all. They were literally standing right here. Where did they go? Oh, well. I'm good on health, right? Yeah. Good old in healing. Well, let's go meet with Bellius. Also, they said he. I thought Bellius was a female. Isn't that what a duche is? thought that was like a short term for duchess or something. Instead of duke. And if you were a male, it would have been duke. I guess we'll find out. We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But... You can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Oh, well, now that the small 11-year-old has said it, surely you can believe us. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Here we go, boys. Let's get on up here. Finally get to meet... Wait a minute, is this the door? That's a warehouse. Finally get to meet Bellius. How did Bellius' voice carry so far? We have to go so far to get to him? Hey! What's going on? Everybody still here? Yes. Secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. Wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is. Bellius? Lay gasp! Also, Judith said she. So Bellius is a woman, like I thought. The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. I do not have to move my mouth to speak to you simple mortals. Isn't it impressive? Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, 
I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Entelikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Dawn has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You Antelike are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelies. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. <laughs> As if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we made out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast! It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Right when we were about to get some information. Of course. What they're after. Who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods. I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now, though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Well, this is all very less than ideal. Time to get a move on. I think, yeah, I was about to say some of the hunting blades are here now and we fight them on the way down. Get some experience as we go. They're wide open. It's nothing personal. Wide open indeed. Nothing personnel, kid. But I'm going to have to kill you now. You will not survive this fight. I'll oh, get photoned on. Got nothing on me, Shining Fang. You still alive, huh? Oh, dude, it's over. How are you still alive? There we go. I was about to say. Oh, why didn't it press star 2, but it didn't go through? Hey, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Hey, you leave her alone. There we are. Much better. Hi. Bet you weren't expecting me to just walk through the stones like that, were you? All right, wait. Yeah, I was about to say, we need to let him get up so I can hit him. 
Wait, 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 wait. Are you, uh... Ah, oh, dang it. I'm just getting started. I thought that he was ready to get hit by the green move and I was going to be able to fatal strike him, but he died first on Fort. Uh, oh, wow. You still got a lot to go. On that one skill. Good old aerial combo. I think Patty finished something? Yeah. I may as well, even though I'm probably, like, literally never going to use her in, uh, in combat. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Yes, please hold still would make my life a lot easier. Come here, brain. Time to die. No, don't don't knock him down though. Hey, no, 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 this guy. Do this. It's time for the divine wolf. Oh, you're super dead. Goodbye. Hey, how's it going, bud? I almost got like half of a half of a bar on that guy too. Oh, I pressed it too early because I'm stupid. Just die. Hey, right, you're also almost ready to go. There we go. Got him. Okay, all right. Here we go. Yeah. Somehow made that work. Forward march. Can I go in here now? Nope. All right. Hello. Would you like to fight to the death? I bet you do. Let's eliminate them. I agree. Eliminate them. Leave no survivors. This is a lot of damage. You want to like? You guys want to like calm down a little bit? Oh dear. Please faster. Heal. Oh, tractor beam. Perfect. Good job. That is a good move when they're all put together like that. The more nurse I can get, the better. Okay, somehow brought that near death back. Don't ask me how. I really don't know. But all that matters is it works. Dude, I love this katana. It is long enough to, like, hit multiple enemies, it seems like. Probably literally has nothing to do with the fact that I, they just happen to be in the right position, but I choose to think that way. Get out of here. There we are. Only one remains. Come on. Go down. Go down. Take this. Easy. It's honestly too easy, boys. Hello. There are so many of you. I did not expect this many enemies on the stairway. I definitely remembered that there were some you had to fight. I didn't know it was this many dudes, though. How did the hunting blades have this many people on hand? I was trying to guard there, but I didn't for some reason. Get back. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nope. Wait for the nurse heal. Get out of here. Oh, that wasn't enough. Almost. Still not enough? Okay, well, you know what? Thank you. Some health would be great here. Oh dear. Yep. Yep, that's fair. Hello, I'm back. Time for you to die. Come back. Come back here. It is as good as over for you, bud. These guys hit hard. I might be slight... What? Hello? Why was he suddenly on the ground like that? With weird invincibility frames. Ow. I might be slightly underleveled. Now that I think about it. I've been feeling like we might be uh, leaning towards a little too underleveled for a bit now. But now these uh, these fights right here are making me think that we might actually be... There we are. The sign of victory. Yeah. Sign of victory, indeed. All right, we made it to the bottom, at least. Hello? This is awful. Could Nan have done this? You all right? Nat has gone to defend the Coliseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've got to go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. All right, well, this is very unfortunate. There we are. I can't remember if this is a boss fight coming up or not, but in case it is, let's go. Time to put some fools down. The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately. Nan, you've got to stop. Carol, what are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? 
That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be! Nan!